A couple of videos ago, I said that I'm not the biggest Bray Wyatt fan, and that is true. But if you know me personally, you know that I really appreciate creative people. I really appreciate original people. I really appreciate people who are willing to go the way that is not necessarily profitable or any of that stuff in order to bring the most accurate representation of themselves or just to bring out everything they have and every creative fiber that they have and they want to express it. I don't know Bray Wyatt personally and to be fair, I watched him briefly because some of you might know I returned to watch wrestling in 2018 and at that period of time Bray Wyatt was on a hiatus and he returned as The Fiend. Very rarely in the wrestling business I have clicked with someone right from the get-go. Bray Wyatt was one of the guys who I immediately started watching even though I have no clue who he is and I was really invested in watching him. It, I don't even have to mention that one of the other guys that captivated me from first sight is The Undertaker. That just only tells you how big of an impact that guy has on his first impression. I feel like Bray Wyatt, if he lived a little bit more, just a little bit more, man, he would have been the greatest of all time. Like, period. I have seen only two reincarnations of his character, maybe three, and they're all great. That guy was a creative genius, and that is what I appreciate about wrestling, storylines, creativity, to be original. That guy had it all. Just a month ago, I wanted to make a video about him because everyone on Twitter were like, what happened with his last storyline with Uncle Howdy? It was so shitty. And I was like, I wanted to make a video because nowadays people are so impatient. But first of all, you haven't seen the whole story. And I'm really sad that I haven't seen the whole story of Uncle Howdy. And I'm sure that if that guy have unfolded the whole thing, you wouldn't have talked like that. Like, you, you aren't talking like that now. When you look back, you cannot say that Bray Wyatt had a bad story. Like, you cannot. As I said, I'm not the biggest Bray Wyatt fan, but that guy deserves his flowers. He gave so much and everyone is praising him and he has been in the business not as much as Taker or Edge or Mysterio, but he's one of the goats already. Thank you, Winham Rotundo, for everything. Rest in peace.